We have Manos, The Hands of Fate, the game based off of the legendary movie, Manos, The Hands of Fate. Uh, since this is a recurring... Since this is a, a, a recurring thing on this stream, uh, for our non-Spanish speaking audience, this translates to Hands, The Hands of Fate. It, it's not like the official adaptation. This came out a few years ago. It's available through Steam. It's a, it's a fun game. It's pretty damn hard. I only have like four out of the six achievements for the game because you, like some of the achievements are uh, literally like don't die and some of these stages are not cheap, but they're really hard. Okay, uh, you have new game, Torgo game, continue, options, quit. Uh, Torgo is a character in the game. You unlock Torgo mode after, after beating the game uh, regularly. I'm playing through on the regular with, with Mike, and this is going to be 100% run. And in order to do that, we're going to grab all of the Hands of Fate uh, scattered throughout each of the levels in the game. So here we go. We're starting Manos, the Hands of Fate. It's going sp to be a spooky game. going to have a lot of spooks. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. All right. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just start over again. I'll just start over again. <laughs> so th this is Manos, the Hands of Fate. Uh, this is. I'm not going to skip the cutscenes. You can't. And also, I don't know why you'd, you'd, you'd want to skip the cutscenes. They do pretty much tell the story of of the game loosely. <laughs> there are some, there are some creative liberties taken. This is Mike. He can jump and he can, he can shoot. Uh, you. These are these drop items. Uh, I'm really not gonna focus too much on the items. Again, they're mostly just for points. But I'll probably grab some one up for safety. So this thing I just picked up right here is the shotgun, and it uh, and I lost the shotgun because I got hit by these fucking people. The shotgun uh, gives you spread shot, and it also doubles your damage, but you lose it the first time you take you, you, you first time you take a hit. So I accidentally took a hit, and. Uh, <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> I'll get another one later though. This is the this is the hand of fate. It increases your maximum health by one, so it, it is kind of worth your while to go out of your way to pick them up. But uh, since we're doing the 100% run, I'm gonna get every hand of fate on every stage. Here's Torgo. He's a satyr. He has goat legs. You can't really tell from the game though. <laughs> And he, he speaks really strangely in the movie, which is why he, uh, his text jitters. So Torgo is actually a boss. You can just spam him. He's a really easy boss, he doesn't shoot at you. Yeah, the master, he don't fuck with no kids and no dogs. He's not into that. That's illegal, by the way. Also, shout-outs to Tom Servo. Hanging out right down there by the snack machine. <laughs> if... If, uh, to, to all my fans that are that are upset that that Torgo is getting is getting ragged on, Torgo is a playable character once you beat the game once. So you actually fight Mike instead of uh, uh, Torgo. Mike takes the place, just like how at the uh, at the end of the movie. Spoilers. Oh shit! I lost my shotgun already. Spoilers. Uh, Mike is takes Torgo's place at the end of the movie. So now we're in. We're inside the, the master's house, and we're shooting. Uh, these are these are the killer shrews. That's a mystery science theater reference. Attack of the killer shrews. That's the screaming skull. It's another mystery science theater reference. Oh shit. Watch that. I forgot you can't, uh... <laughs> you can't jump down across. Screens don't transition that way in this game. That's alright. Play too much Metroid. The 
hand of fate has found me. Now I have two hands, I have a second pair of arms. I can eat two cheeseburgers at the same time. If, if I go all the way out to the left right there, there's a one-up. I'm not- that, that's a little too far out, out of my way to go to get it for safety. Uh, there's plenty more one-ups later on. In fact, there's also a, uh, a really crappy flying stage that is just full of one-ups because you die in one hit. So the creator was nice enough to uh, kind of give us a break there. Yeah, you guys are you guys are hype about those cheeseburgers. There's gonna be there's gonna be a lot more cheeseburgers as the night goes on. This torch will hurt you. Don't touch it. This is the boss. This is the this is the the Manos idol. He shoots fireballs at you. And you mostly just keep jumping up and you shoot at him. If I was able to keep my shotgun throughout the whole stage like I wanted to, uh, I would just be able to stand right here and not jump and just keep firing. And the the, the spread shot, the shot that fires upward, it would hit it every time. Oh, Torgo, he's getting spooky. Not dead the way you know it. The master is with us always. Secret, secret one up right there. Grab that, pro strats. Watch out for the watch out for the swing and ding dong. That's the that's a walking hand. I'm not really sure what that's a reference to. I I want to say it's just thing from the Adams family, but I don't know if there's like more to it. That eyeball is also a mystery science theater reference. Uh, the little goblins running around are called Nilbogs. That's goblin spelled backwards. Which, of course, that's a Troll 2 reference. Oh, uh, you're just in time for Manos the Hands of Fate. This is, we're only a couple stages in. This is a platforming adventure game made uh, in the spirit of the, the, the cult classic movie, Manos the Hands of Fate. Actually, I'm fucking up because there's a shotgun over. No, no, I'm thinking of a different stage. Oh, man. Taking that like a champ. <laughs> this is what happens when you kind of forget where you are. There's the shotgun. <laughs> the hand enemy is, is a character that didn't make the cut and now he's here out of revenge. I, honestly, I'd buy that. I'd buy it. That sounds completely plausible. So yeah, oh fuck. Well, the fucking hand statue kind of got in the way there, but I was able to kill the little uh, goblins with, with one shot from the shotgun, because again, it does double damage. Here's a boss. This is the classic NES-type boss. You know, the... <laughs> it's kind of reminiscent of the dragon from uh, Mega Man. He has a set pattern. Pattern which I have fucked up, and he's gonna, he's gonna kick my ass. Okay, there we go. Or not? I got it. Don't worry. We're good. This is one of the, this is one of the really kind of memorable scenes from the movie where, where Torgo, uh, kind of touches Mary and she, she slaps the shit out of him. The guy that did the artwork for the. Uh, for the cutscenes, did a really good job. <laughs> also, <laughs> Castlevania reference. I prefer, I prefer the version, what a horrible night to have autism. So this is a, uh, oh, this is an auto-scroller. We're gonna, we're gonna be here for a while. There's two, well, two and a half auto-scrollers in this game. And it's, uh, you know, this, this game kind of pokes fun at the tropes from the NES era, so, you, you know, you have your, your flying stage, you have your auto-scroller. <laughs> so these guys right here in the car, the, the, the kissing cousins, I fucking hate them with a passion. 
was- oh, fuck. Yeah, I forgot that block on the end breaks. It's so easy for them just to hit you with their- with- with the booze. The guy- the guy drinks from his bottle of liquor and then he throws it. Again, that's another, another scene from the movie. There, there's not- there's not much to kind of gamify. There's not much to go by, so... That's why stuff like that makes it into the game. Which is funny, it, it gives the game a special kind of charm. These guys will die in one hit if you have a shotgun, so I would like to keep the shotgun as much as I can. Because, as you can see, they're kind of hard to see. And they're a pain in the ass to deal with. This stage is coming up. It's right there. You gotta be quick to grab it. You can jump around outside of the stage and get it from right there. And if I'm really quick, if I'm really quick, I can get both one-ups. Again, since this is an auto-scroller, I'm not really losing any time by going out of my way to grab one-ups. Although these fucking skulls... Making me mad. That was a pretty good jump shot. I'll get my shotgun back and keep it all like one screen until I get hit again. I try to stay toward the left side of this auto scroller just because, again, the second you take any damage, you lose your shotgun. Oh fuck. Well, so much for that. This this next part is like a whole gauntlet where keeping <laughs> keeping your shotgun through this part of the game would be like an achievement if I was an asshole. Thankfully, thankfully I didn't make this game and I'm not an asshole, so it's not an achievement. But it's really hard to keep the shotgun through that. I've never done it. I, every time I make that jump, I always, I'm always afraid I'm not gonna make it. Just shoot that fucking guy! I'm not gonna be able to get this far. No, it's, this is the fucking jewel. There's the heart. There's a big heart around here somewhere. Uh-oh. It's the dog. <laughs> that fucking sound. It's such a horrible sound. <laughs> Oh no! Peppy, the dog, the little dog, he died. Who would do such a thing? Now we have the next boss. The, 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 the master's hounds. Of which there's only one. You guys ready to fight a dog? I'm gonna come, oh shit. Yep. <laughs> okay, good. That was a really bad, that was a really bad dog fight. So now, now the master is awakened. This little, the movie's progressing, somewhat. I don't, I don't remember the part in the movie that's coming up right now, but I'll just, I'll just go with it. So this is the part of the game that's like really generous with all the one-ups, because if you touch anything that's not like an enemy, if you touch like an enemy's post or anything, you die immediately. And then duck down, grab the hand of fate. Hand of fate, it's really kind of a gimme on on, on these on, on this stage. It's really hard to miss. And Torgo has a plane. I didn't know Torgo could fly a plane. And then we, we have Torgo in a plane, and the, the the this 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 giant boss chicken thing again. This giant vulture thing. Go. 
<laughs> That's really easy. Alright, now we're under- oh shit. Okay. Off to a bad start for the, the cave stage. Uh, those little bubbles that are coming up will hurt you. They're kind of hard to see. Nope. Tumbleweeds also hurt you. Oh, hang on, I gotta... I'm, I'm getting messages on my phone. To get, to get to the Hand of Fate, you can actually shoot these two blocks. And the Hand of Fate is over here. This was the one that was the hardest one for me to find. This game, this game overall is is relatively easy, but in order to get some of the achievements, the requirements are just ridiculous. Like getting through without, no, with like no deaths, no no, no, no dying, no. Oh fuck! <laughs> well, so much for that. Almost everything in the game kind of has a pattern to it, and once you figure out what that pattern is, the game gets a lot easier. Oh shit, I was looking at the chat. <laughs> How many hands are we on for those cheeseburger speedruns? Well, we're on stage six, so we've got so we've collected six hands for the cheeseburger runs. At least I can go grab the shotgun again. Let's put a tear into this guy right here. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Yeah, that was bad. I jump. I jumped too soon. Uh, the ground texture might be from Zelda 2. I know that there, there's a lot of homages and stuff hidden with hidden within this game. Like, a lot. Most of the enemies, if they're not references to, uh, just, like, stuff in the movie outright, they're references to Mystery Science Theater. Okay, here we go. There it is. These jumps are always, always make me anxious. Excuse me, thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I took a hit. That's okay. I don't care. Doesn't matter. I got paid. No more spooky skulls. No more. Man, I really thought I had that. Oh shit. Ah, get away from me. <laughs> you can just kind of tank damage through here because, oh fuck, I hit the, oh man, I hit those bubbles right at the top of my jump. All right, Aldino, peace out. I will see you when you get back. If I didn't hit these bubbles, I guess I'll try to play this a little, a little more carefully. Again, because you, you get you get a max health right there at the end. This is Roman. Roman must kill the humans. I believe this is another mystery science theater guy. Roman is is exceptionally easy to beat. <laughs> He always he just jumps and kind of rebounds off the wall. He's almost like a fucking shitty cave story boss. Oh shit! You don't want to touch Roman's bubbles. Though. This human is too strong for Roman. Yeah, thanks, bro. All right, so now we're in the uh, the Plan Nine from Outer Space stage. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, this is the UFO invasion that totally happened in Mono's The Hands of Fate, I'm sure, as, as we all know. <laughs> I fucking hate this stage, because it's so easy to, oh. Namely, that first jump. You have to jump right there on the ledge, otherwise you will miss that jump every time. It is. 
Jesus. Oh, see, I, I like kind of clipped into the wall right there. I just barely got it. The jumps are so precise in this stage. I th oh no, they, they did they did a riff tracks of, of Plan Nine. Yeah, they, they they never had Plan Nine as an actual episode of the show of um, Mystery Science Theater. That's right. All right, bro. Thank you for tuning in, dude. Yeah, th this this run we probably got about. I mean, this is like the second to last or yeah, second to last stage. Oh shit! I can't for scratching my face. There's it's not it's not a whole lot of time left in this run. <laughs> no goblins! It's Nilbog! It's goblin spelled backwards! Fuck me! And I put a one up at the end of all this, all this shit. Get all those gems. I have no reason not to. It's an auto scroller. No, you, no more UFOs. I'll shoot it just because I just- oh, there we go. The good news is we're almost- we're almost- almost through with this stage. Oh man, I should not have tried to jump through those. That was terrible. We are almost done with this stage. We're so close. Oh, there's the hand of fate, by the way! <laughs> I guess you forgot we were collecting those, didn't you? It didn't fucking take so long to get through this stage. Uh... Oh fuck! Yeah, that was, that was terrible. I misjumped. One thing you can do on this game is you can actually. Uh... You can you can buffer your jumps by if 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 you jump and then while you're in the air if you let go of the button to jump and then press it again as you land you will immediately jump on on the next frame. So uh, that's what that's what fucked me right there. I goofed up. That that was my bad. Fucking I hate no more UFOs. They're not no more aliens. This is this is the level that eats most of my lives, just because of this literally this part right here. Mamma Mia! Fucking cake boss! I swear to God, that UFO did, did not even hit me. It, did, it, it, did, it didn't touch me. I'm gonna have to see the tape on that one. <laughs> Fucking cake, boss! I, I, I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Good, we're done. <laughs> now let's just not die on this part when the boss comes out. Which I think is like Bella Lugosi and someone else. Oh, fuck. The jumps to get over these guys- oh shit. The jumps to get over these guys are like really precise. I really thought he should be almost out of health. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Once you get rid of the fat guy, it's it's really easy to get rid of the woman. She she walks really slow. It's almost like fighting Torgo again. Manos, uh, the, or the master. It's not Manos. Manos is the god, but the master looks almost normal.
Here comes Torgo to do his best impression of Knuckles. Get spooky in here. The hand statues in this stage of them shooting, they don't actually drop any items, but what they are, those are all the checkpoints. So if I if I die in this stage, which I might, I'm gonna restart from right there. I will try not to forget the Hand of Fate on this stage, it's the final one in the game. I, I really hope I don't miss it, because if I do, um, that's just going to be like total scrub load. There we go, and we got it. That's one of the easiest ones to miss, like if, 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 if you really take your time on this stage and you only jump when you can see the ground in front of you, like fully, you know, like the next- oh shit. <laughs> if you can like see the next couple steps, that, that, that are in front of you, it's really easy to miss that one. This is a really bad checkpoint. I see, I see. There's two routes I could have gone. So this this is one kind of part where being able to buffer your jumps kind of helps out. I was able to do that right there. Just so that as soon as I... Oh, shit. I didn't even see what kind of block that was. That is totally my bad. Uh, so whenever I was jumping across those blocks that crumble, I was able to kind of just already be off of it and jump onto the next one. I missed that jump. I went a little too fast. I, I need to wait one more block. I'll kill this guy. Here it is. Here it is. This is the month. This is this one's for all the fuck. <sighs> it's really easy to fuck up on the on on, on buffer jumps. Like, it's really easy. Let's go, Monos, Monos the Hands of Fate 2006, 2016. This is it, this is the run. I'm going too fast. I went too fast. I, I have to stay on that, on that swinger for a while. Got me with this trap last time when I was trying to learn this game. Good news is that's literally the end of the stage. We're gonna get some items up here. It's good. Everything's gonna be good. We get a one up. We get just hearts, and now we have the master and all of his wives, which, as we uh, as we're about to discover, he's about to unleash his army of evil Brianna Wu clones, <laughs> all six of them on me. Oh shit, that one came to life. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> it's all about ethics. <laughs> we got some oh my dog in chat. <laughs> uh, that's where they put Torgo's hand in, in, in the Mono's fire. They sacrifice his hand. And then he, he runs off into the darkness. <laughs> Alright, so we are at the final boss. Time is coming up as soon as we kill the final boss. 
This is the master. Oh shit. I keep forgetting his stupid ass little torch right there. That one, that one little block it sits on can still hurt you from, from up on top. Oh, that's time. <laughs> This part's not from the movie. <laughs> That's a wrap on, on Manos, the, the, the serious hands. Oh, her name was Margaret, not Mary. My bad. I got some, I got some beef jerky. I'm gonna have a couple of those. The killer shrews. It's goblin spelled backwards. See ya, bro. All, all six of the master's wives. <laughs> all six. Bring on no boots. I feel kind of shitty for saying that. I kind of made it up on the spot. I'm gonna get comments about that. So the reason why the end game timer differs from the timer on the side is because the game timer doesn't count cutscenes. And uh, you get this screen if you collect all the hands of fate. Well done. You're a super player. I'm a super player.